Based on the arguments presented by the judges in their decision to withdraw the Labour Party's presidential election petition, it appears extremely challenging to establish election malpractice or rigging in a nationwide presidential election. The judges have emphasized that the stringent requirements for presenting evidence within the 21-day time frame allowed for filing a petition after election results are announced are practically insurmountable. With over 177,000 polling units in Nigeria, compiling and proving malpractices in tens of thousands of polling units is an enormous task that includes calling witnesses for each unit, rendering it unfeasible. This situation highlights a flawed system that seemingly favors individuals with aggressive and lawless tendencies over those who abide by the law and exhibit good behavior. The judge's rulings suggest that the system rewards those who will go to any lengths to gain power, leading to a sense of disappointment among Nigerians. Furthermore, the judge's decision appears to reinterpret Nigeria's constitution by equating the Federal Capital Territory, FCT, with other states implying that presidential candidates must secure 25% of the total votes in all states, including the FCT, to ensure equal status. This interpretation deviates from the original intent of the Constitution and contradicts the exemption of the 25% requirement for the FCT in the second runoff election. Surprisingly, the judges also held that double or invalid nomination of a candidate such as in the case of Tinubu, does not disqualify a candidate, as it is not among the conditions specified in Section 131 of the 1999 Constitution. However, Section 131c suggests that candidates must be sponsored by a political party, implying that a candidate with an invalid nomination might not meet this criterion. The judge's dismissal of evidence particularly the removal of 10 witnesses due to procedural issues, raises questions about the fairness of the judgment. The judge's interpretation of INEC guidelines regarding the IREV platform also seems to disregard the platform's purpose, which is to safeguard the integrity of election results by uploading them in real time. In conclusion, the judge's decisions appear to be influenced by technicalities and procedural errors leading to the withdrawal of the petition. These decisions have sparked controversy and concern among the public regarding the integrity of the electoral process. It is essential to scrutinize and possibly amend relevant constitutional provisions to ensure transparency and fairness in future elections. If you are watching our video for the first time, I suggest you subscribe to our channel for more interesting and captivative information. Turn on the bell notification to get alert on all our recent posts so you won't miss out any. Share your thought in the comment section and share these video with family, friends, and concerned Nigerians. Thanks for watching.